Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the Java series. This episode I'm going to show you how to work with the variable capture and effectively final variables. Okay guys, so yeah, I'm going to teach you about vari variable capture and stuff like that whenever you're working with lambda expressions. And so, the only easy way to show you what this is is by showing you. So let me go ahead and do that. So first, let's just uh, go ahead and make a functional interface, of course. So interface, and we'll just call it functional interface because I'm not very creative, obviously. So functional interface, and then we'll give it a method here, int func for function, and then uh, and we'll give it a parameter of int a, okay? So it'll just take a parameter, of course. And then inside of here, our main method, we're going to actually uh, declare the implementation for this functional interface by using a lambda expression. So we can do that. Functional interface uh, easy is equal to uh, int a arrow operator and then block expression. Then we can do something in here, right? But anyway, before we do that, let's, well, let's have that there. Before we do that, we can, I'm going to show you something here. Um, so let's say we have a variable out here, out here right? So int thing is equal to 25 right this is just a regular variable okay and so basically we can use it inside of here right we could do something like this uh, well let's declare a variable inside of here first so int result so we could use that variable out here inside of here perfectly fine like we would do with the if statement probably so we could do something like this result is equal to thing okay so we get no errors there but um, well let's return the uh, results so you don't get any errors at all and so that will work perfectly fine. But the problem is, um, let's say that we set the, the value of thing inside of here, right? We actually will get an error from doing that. So we could do thing is equal to, oh, let's go to here. Thing is equal to 25, okay? Or 26. We get an error because thing is ex uh, effectively final, okay? That's what it's called. Meaning that it's not explicitly final, meaning it's not it doesn't actually have final in front of it. But it's effectively final, which means that it's been captured by a lambda expression, okay? And so what that means is that whenever you use a variable outside of the scope of the variable, I mean of the lambda expression, it'll capture that variable and then make it final, okay? So that means, of course, if you remember constant variables, that it cannot be changed anymore because a final variable is constant, it can't be changed, right? So now it's been captured, right? So that means we cannot change the value of it whenever it's inside of this lambda expression and out of it now, so... Yeah, so um, basically, we just can't change it, okay? But we can use it, of course, because it's it's final, but it's it's still usable, so that's fine too. So yeah, that's called effectively final variables. Whenever you capture one, and then you use it inside of your lambda expression, okay? But like I just said, we cannot set the value of the variable inside of the lambda expression because it's effectively final. But we we also cannot set it outside of here because it's effectively final. So it goes the same both ways. We don't get an error, but it still will. Uh, we'll get an error here, but it doesn't have an error here. So if we run this, it'll actually print out an error so we can see. But yeah, you get the point. Basically, we cannot edit it anywhere anymore or change the value of the variable anywhere anymore as long as it's captured, okay? And it's been captured because it's been used by the lambda expression. So that's how that works. So whenever you're using a variable inside of a lambda expression, it's been captured, okay? Pretty simple stuff, right? And uh, yeah, so that's that's really it for this episode. I know it was very short. But basically, you just have to understand that whenever you use a variable inside of a lambda expression, it's been captured, therefore turning it effectively effectively final, meaning that it cannot be changed. It's now constant variable, okay? So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, just leave a comment and I'll help you. Also, we have a Discord in the description where you can check it out, join it, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, anything. And then also, make sure you check out the code from today's episode. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And it'll all be there for you. And uh, so, yeah, make sure you do that. Bookmark it for future reference, all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, so if you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.